Deku versus Naruto death battle, who would win? Now you might be thinking, this is an obvious one-sided slaughter. And I agree with you. Deku would absolutely clap Naruto with a broken arm tied behind his back. But there's a lot more nuance within these fights that we should look at first. Starting off, we have to look at the feats and stats of each character. Now, Naruto is pretty weak in comparison, always getting slapped around by characters in his universe alone, while having to beg for his life to get out of risky situations with his talk no jutsu. And he did fight on the moon that one time, but that doesn't count because he was in the Avatar state, and all that stuff is illogical anyway. That's Avatar stuff, that doesn't count. So really, Naruto is pretty weak has really no feats to back up anything, so we can really just put him on city level in terms of power scaling, enough to make Saitama sneeze in his direction and then die. But if we look at Deku... <sighs> Oh, oh, oh man, dude got oh, super oh, strength, can oh, jump oh, really oh, high, he can oh, oh, punch oh, super oh, hard, he can pull his fingers and break ice he has some fucking kicks, this dude can bring out all for one whole black whip, grab onto shit while he's floating in a clapping air, he's the 100% destroyed smash, bro, he's got fucking four other quirks or some shit, he has an avatar state dream. He's got fucking four other quirks or some shit because he had an Avatar State dream and since he's in the Avatar State, that stuff is completely fair, so we'll include it. That's Avatar stuff. That doesn't count. But Josh, your stats are pretty low in the Ultra Arc. Turn that shit to the Ultra Analysis. My boy looking at 5 out of 6 out of 5 out of 6 out of speed, 5 out of 6 in technique, 5 out of 6 in intelligence, 1 out of 6 in aura, only because he's holding back so he doesn't make his enemies look like child's play, which they are because Deku could clap anybody at any time, anywhere. But if that doesn't convince you. Let's look at the fact that everyone called Deku Green Naruto, which could only mean that he has the potential to become the next Hokage, meaning this dude is already twice as strong as Naruto at base power, and that's not even including his seven other quirks, which would make him eight times stronger than Naruto. And that's all before you factor in his other stats. Deku's got Air Force gloves, Iron Souls, bro, give him a full gauntlet because this is a battle to the death, and then let him go a million percent. This would put Deku at base power since he's not even at his full strength, at least 11 million times Naruto. Naruto's power level. Oh, Naruto can fight on the moon? Boom, Deku could send him there. We have the numbers and the feats to prove it. Deku would absolutely destroy everyone in the Naruto universe without so much as breaking a sweat. This man is unstoppable. Naruto got nothing on him. Deku wins with an easy clap.